Christmas and welcome my fellow viewers. I am Rebest in the Collector Dragon and hopefully this one is actually recording. My voice. <sighs> Been having, I guess the thing wasn't set to what I thought it would so I had no audio in my first attempt at this. <sighs> anyway, so I want to talk about Activision and their latest new the latest news of what is going on with Skylanders Imaginators. Now, I'm a big Skylanders fan. I'm pretty sure some of your some of my older viewers would know that cuz I've mentioned it before and I played Skylanders on Twitch and I've done uh and I talked about what I think would be uh pretty cool to see in the next Skylanders. And um I have every single Skylander that is available commercially in the US. Um I'm missing a few. Some of them have gone lost, so I'm not happy about that. And of course, I do not have a Thrillipede or his car because X number of days since he was supposed to be in all stores or whatever, which isn't Activision's fault, okay? The problem with the reason why Thrillipede and his car are not in other stores is because the stores are not buying the stuff. They're not ordering the toys from... They're not they the stores aren't buying stuff from the toys from Activision because they don't feel confident in them selling at their retail places for, because of because there's too many because of whatever reason there's too many uh toys for life people don't care about Skylanders as much as they did when it was first released and they don't and there's just too many of them anyway so and they have more than they can they than they know what to do with that that aren't selling so why add more to the load you know it just you know, to fix this, all you have to do, Activision, is tighten up your scheduling. T tighten up your toy release schedules. Instead of releasing it at sporadic moments, at in at an indecisive amount of figures per release, and like eight months after the game's been out, no one no one cares about that point. I mean. I do because I have them all and I'm a big collector. I am Rebess of the Collector Dragon. That's what I do. I collect things. And I love Skylanders. Um, I think it's a great franchise and I think it's the best Toys to Life variant out there because it's original. It is not just pandering to nostalgia. Okay? It's an, it's an original concept with original characters, and those characters are cool and funny. Sure, you could argue that they had Spyro and Cinder and stuff, but other than those... And Sparks in the original game, at least. But other than those two characters, Skylanders is its own IP now. Heck, I'm kind of hoping that they'll release a new Spyro game. Completely new Spyro game, because Sky, they've even said it themselves. Um... In a video that Skylanders is its own IP now. It's not Spyro. It never was. It was never about Spyro. And it was barely Spyro's game. It is Skylanders. No one knows the Spyro attachment. So, so I mean, all you have to do with the, with the scheduling, Activision, is tighten it up. Make it so that you release, like, I don't know, five or six toys... Every two weeks after its release, then everyone would know when they're coming out. They would get routined into buying them at those times and they would buy them because they would know when to look forward to these things. A big problem with why they don't sell is because no one knows when they're going to be out. They know, like... Uh, they have a general idea, but not an exact science. And it's like a complete crapshoot as to which figures will actually get released. So no, they don't know what to look for. So they just kind of go out and hope for the best, I guess. Um, it's just ridiculous. And you could definitely make that easier. And that would be better for you because people would buy your, your stuff and you'd make more money. Um... <coughs> But Imaginators, I I don't know what you're doing with Imaginators because here's the cool thing about Imaginators. You get to make your own Skylander. Isn't that amazing? I mean, even with the normal ones, they look like they're re they it looks like they're revamping the combat system with more 
stuff that you can do i don't know maybe it's going to be the same three buttons as it always is but who knows maybe they're going to be finally implementing more than that or at least changing the combat system entirely which would be great for the series because as it is as much as i love it it does get stale rather quickly so it would be great to see a re a reformat of this combat system but here's the thing for those of you who don't know, the there, to make your own Skylanders, you're going to need a crystal. Now, this isn't like Skylanders Trap Team, where there's going to be 800 million crystals. At least, that's not as far as I'm aware. There's not going to be 800 million crystals of different various that are virtually pointless. Okay, there's going to be a crystal where you can make your own Skylander, but... Unfortunately, they decided to not make it resettable at all. You can't reset the figure. You can't change its class. You can't change its level. You can't, you can't restart from the beginning. All you can do is, all you can do is, re is change ownership and change, like, and change how it looks on the inside. That's it. Why? Why? Why why are you limiting yourself like this Activision? Think about it. By ma by doing this, people who weren't going to buy more crystals now has a bigger reason to not buy more crystals, and those who were going to buy more crystals may second guess themselves and be like, "Hey, I have to buy more crystals. They're forcing it upon me. So why should I bother?" I mean, what if I don't like this class? Now I have to buy a new crystal because I made a mistake? That's just... That's poor business. And people... And you're not helping yourself. People are going to be like, well, they screwed me over, so why should I bother? Some people may not even buy the game. They might be like, oh, well, Activision is doing this dumb stuff, so I'm not even going to buy the game now. I'm just not. I mean... It's not going to help your sales of the game. It's not going to help your sales of the crystals. And all. And now it's going to look like a black stain on you for this franchise. And you're probably going to lose fan, more fans because of it. Never mind the fans that you lost because of the other uh, Toys to Life games. Um, and one of the main reasons why people went you know stopped buying your game because of the other games is because it's too much money so you're gonna force people to spend more money i mean you already made it so that you can beat the game without any other figures other than the starting three if you're gonna force people to buy crystals anyway why not just make the whole game like that why not just make it so that you're forced to buy characters but in return you make a more solid game a game with more diversity and more stuff to do and more challenges or more trickier things things that would require those characters it would make sense increase the lore increase the dynamics increase everything make the game more unique and diverse and more just everything. Just give it everything. Give it a better narrative. More, you know, make it so that everyone can communicate with each other or something. I don't know. Um, you kind of have been hinting at that, making some Skylanders actually recognizable. You know, you've been doing it more and more every game. So why not just make the whole game like that? And, and you know, force and people would be enticed to buy the characters if that was the case. Because everyone would have their own little story arc or something and they would get to see the interactions or at least they feel more personal with that character because the 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 NPCs recognize that character and you are and in a way you the player so people would be engaged they'd be like oh my god this guy's talking to me so so now I'm more inclined to keep playing and stuff so and I wonder if it's going to be like that for the other characters maybe I should try them out too and see what happens with that. So, so yeah. Um, I really hope that this isn't such a big backlash that it ends up killing Skylanders. I don't think it will. I'm sure Skylanders will be fine. 
but it is just now a black stain on something that didn't need to happen because all you're doing is 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 halting is making it harder for peep for other people you're, you're making it harder for the consumer and when you make it, things harder people don't follow through they don't want to, they don't want it because it's too difficult make it easier activision make it easier for people and then they will be more willing to walk into it with happy anyway that's pretty much all i have to say hopefully it wasn't too ranty i i'm pretty sure it was less ranty than my last video or the the last attempt um but uh thank you all for watching uh i hope you i hope you all learned something and enjoyed the video and go out and talk you maybe send a letter to activision you know if you want to try and stop this if you honestly feel like you're if you're a skylander lover and you do not want this implemented send messages call them uh don't make a petition or anything just physically call them encourage your friends to call them send out emails do whatever you can vocalize communicate to them say you don't want this to be part of your game so please bring put it back to the way it's supposed to be let activision know and i'm sure they will do it and if not they will have to suffer the consequences but if you don't let them know how you feel then you can't be like, oh, why didn't they change? Why why did they make that stupid idea when you could have done something? I mean, look at Mass Effect Three. Obviously, a community can make a difference. So, so don't be don't be going up in arms with torches and being all mad. Let them know calmly and thoughtfully. Use your brains, guys. Thought be thoughtful and passionate about it be like hey why is this being a thing that's unnecessary please remove it you know you can even link them to this video if you want maybe it'll let them know maybe it won't i don't know um make your own videos make whatever like i said communicate communicate to them how you feel um so I hope you all enjoy. Again, I know I kind of a fake ending there, but it just kind of popped into my head and I just kind of spew out whatever happens to come into my head that sounds like a good idea. Anyway, I'm officially ending this video, guys. Thank you all again for watching. Please share this video to anyone you think would enjoy it or learn something from it. Um, please like the video. Please comment on the video. Let me know how you feel about this. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be angry, but... Just try to talk to me calmly and let me know how you feel as well. Um, and hopefully we can make a difference. Uh, and subscribe to my channel for more news and philosophy things and gaming, all gaming whatevers, you know, gaming walkthroughs. Hopefully I'll have new videos coming up soon. Um, I have made a lot of content thus far, but I'm having some issues with editing more so on the whole not sure how to cut it up and stuff side so if anyone is willing to help me with that um please private message me on facebook or twitter or whatever um and uh we can work something out you know so if you want if not whatever i'll just keep i'm just gonna keep doing it myself and hopefully i can get those out soon um Thanks all again for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye-bye.